Hello, everybody. I am doing a very quick nighttime skincare thing because I just took a shower. It's 5 p.m. I like my nighttime ritual to sit in my skin for a long period of time and soak in overnight. And uh, I mix it. I mix it up. Like, I'm not married to one thing. However, on some days, I feel like I need to target a few things more than others, and this is definitely one of those days. For me, it's the skin discolorations right there. You can see them. Most people be like, oh, that's nothing. I haven't much with... It's still there. That is from... Hello, Cindy. Former sun worshipping, if you will. Let me use all of the... Glow Color Lip Serum. I just like the pepperminty, and it feels really good. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Oh, no. I'm normally not on at this time, but... I was like, I should do this. So, first and foremost, when I come out of the shower, <laughs> everyone's like, your skin, your skin, your skin. Well, we have this Alpha Hydroxy Resurfacing Lotion for body, and it comes in a smaller bottle. Would I like it to be twice the size? Sure. However, a little squeeze will show you. A little bit goes a long way. Oh, I waited to do my arms after my shower so I could put this on because I don't want to over, over apply because what if I go outside and get a sunburn? Hello. So I had this weird mark on my back right here. You can see that. It's a blister. Would you guys like to know what that's from? So I was making dinner tonight, um, and FYI, alpha hydroxy is really good for fine lines, wrinkles, skin discolorations, and everyone's like, your skin's so nice, it's because I use alpha hydroxy on it, just so you know, just so you know, yes, Audrey, but I would highly recommend that you use the bug guard line, which is concentrated, to repel them. Well, hello, April. How are you? Uh, Mary Ann, thank you for the 250 stars. Damn, dude. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good about that. I appreciate it. Anyway, <laughs> I was pulling things out of my oven. And something was smoking, right? And I was like, oh, no, because the fire alarm's right there. So I took my oven glove off. And I start waving so that the smoke detector won't go off from the, like, wisp of smoke that came out. Well, it's silicone gloves, right? And it hit me in the back and it smeared the shit everywhere. But this is a burn on my back. <laughs> my dumbass took the gloves that I just used to remove boiling hot items <laughs> from my oven. And I was waving and it hit me in the back and I was like, ow. Then my husband's like, you have a weird mark on your back. I'm like, well, get it off. So he starts rubbing and rubbing. I'm not realizing this is a blister. This is a burn. And I'm like, ow, motherfucker. What are you doing back there? He's like, I can't get this shit off. It was like oven grease and like a first degree burn. <laughs> on my back. Get it off me, man. Mm. Yeah, it hurt. But it hurts worse when someone takes a dry paper towel and rubbing the shit out of it. Okay. So now you guys know, when you see my skin on my arms and stuff, and everyone's like, that's so nice. It's because I use this alpha hydroxy lotion. You cannot go in the sun without SPF with this. In fact, I... Oh, cool. Steampunk goggles. That's awesome. Anyway, in fact, I highly recommend that you don't touch the sun at all. Like... My husband and I, we are pasty white people. And it's because it's like hats and brims and shade and sunblock. You know what I mean? So that's what it's all about. Now, do forgive me. I did just scrub my face, so there's not much left there. However, I'm going to use a smorgasbord of different things tonight. I'm so bad. Like, I see all my, like, vitamin C body butter and stuff. And I'm like, I want to put that on, too. But I already, already doused my whole body in alpha hydroxy. And I want it to soak in and set in. Stephanie, 
thank you for the 250 stars. So tonight, I really do appreciate it. Both of you ladies, thank you. Stephanie and Marianne, I appreciate it. I'm gonna use a smorgasbord of different anti-aging stuff. I'm gonna use the Rice Ceramide Moisturizing Toner, the Rice Ceramide Moisturizing Emulsion, I'm going to use the new Ultimate Night Repair Serum. Then I'm going to mix the new Clinical uh, Line Eraser with Retinol, 1% Retinol, with the new Ultimate Night Cream, Multi Performance Night Cream. And I'm going to use the Multi Performance Eye Cream. Why? Because I fucking can. And because I need a toner, I need some moisture, I need a serum to target my fine lines and wrinkles. I need a face cream that's going to target the skin discolorations, but then I also want the retinol to be able to tackle it. Well, hi, right? <laughs> and then you need eye cream. So yeah, and there's people that are like, they marry one line like, oh, I have to just use the new ultimate and I can't mix it with other shit. Dude, I mix my belief with my farm RX. I, mi I mix them all because there's no fucking rules to this. Who set these rules? I didn't. I do what I want. Okay. So, let's start with some rice ceramide moisturizing toner, shall we? I'm going to tone up my face. I always get requests. Can't you come on at night? Can't you show us what you do at night? I do that combo, but I've been using that since. Yay, see? There ain't no motherfucking rules. Rules are for, like, you know... Rule followers. I'm such a rule follower. That's why I always get mad at gun laws. Because if everyone followed the rules, sure, your gun laws make sense. But the reason there's gun issues is no one follows the fucking rules. Oh, but this time they magically will. Like magic. No. Only the people like me who have always followed the rules will follow the rules. What, are you going to fucking force morality on somebody just because you are going do 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 No, you could do this all day. You will follow gun laws. You will. It's never going to fucking happen. So I understand that there's like really misled people that believe these talking points that really just want to disarm the people. I understand that. I get it. Because it would be nice if people shared your morality and followed the rules. It's kind of like a mother who murders her own children just murders her own children and the, well they're my kids they murder them right and you're like you can't comprehend how anyone could fucking do that just like you can't comprehend that if we made a law the criminals will just follow it no there's already tons of laws saying you can't just shoot people and you can't do bad shit sarah thank you for the 310 stars sarah and no one follows them well, we should make more laws. No, those laws will only affect someone like me that follows laws. That's why I tell people, dude, laws that disarm me, I'm not the fucking problem. It's criminals that are the problem. And they have this big issue where they don't follow any of your fucking rules. Like, you could be like, no rape. Okay, I'm not raping anyone. <laughs> and it doesn't stop other people from fucking doing it. It's just crazy just crazy crazy because all those politicians they know they're not trying to pass gun laws to protect us they're doing it because they want to rule over us and the easy way to do it is to take all our guns so then they're like oh this will stop shootings really why don't you focus on gangs guys oh you mean the real problem gang culture oh we can't mention that can we I believe the government is in cahoots with all the gangs. Personally, I think they are just like the mob and the government before. I think all the gangbangers are like their overlords, whoever's the leader of their gangs, is like fist bumping with your mayors and all your fucking governors. Because there's no other explanation why every time they like wag their fingers and shame people for guns, <laughs> that they never give a shit about the gangs killing everybody. Like, it's all they do is kill people. But they're fine with that. They're like, yeah, no, no. Everyone except for these gangbangers that are lining my pockets. 
So this is the moisturizing emulsion by Rice Ceramide. Yes, it's out of stock right now. We changed our manufacturers to make our shit. Yeah. Wonderful timing. I promise it'll come back. I promise. I know it's a bitch, ain't it? <coughs> ain't it? It'll be back. So, moisturizing emulsion. The deep moisturizing emulsion replenishes moisture and leaves your skin feeling fresh. Yes, yes it does. So we're gonna get right in there. I know. I stream every Monday and Friday here on Facebook in the morning, usually around 6, 10 a.m. my time. But I'm gonna try to sneak in here and there just to say hi to you guys. Now, we had the moisturizing toner. The moisturizing emulsion, ricerimide. Now we're going for to visibly reduce the multiple signs of aging to use in the PM. Apply to clean face and neck before moisturizer. Well, my shit is clean. There are no rules. Got some clean shit. And then serum. Whoop, whoop. You know, I was listening to Bill Maher had Jordan Peterson on. Guys, it's such a phenomenal listen. And Bill Maher prompts Jordan Peterson like he wants Jordan Peterson to say Donald Trump is a psychopath. And Jordan's listening to him because, you know, he's Canadian. He's not that married to, like, who we're voting for. But he's, like, listening to his little clinical psychology shit. And he's like... Actually, it's left-wingers that tend to be the psychopaths, and here's why. Psychopaths don't want you to know they're one, so they lie and manipulate. It's easy to lie to and manipulate good people into thinking that the things that they're doing that will benefit you is for the benefit of all, so that the best psychopaths out there, you don't know they are. They come off as caring and loving I mean, how many times have we heard of, like, psychopathic murderers and people are like, no, not John Wayne Gacy. He worked at the church. He was so caring and giving. He gave so much to the community. Meanwhile, he's like, I'm murdering your children and raping them and burying their bodies in my basement. But the church was like, he was so loving and giving and caring. And then the community of shy town the actual government was like he worked for us he was wonderful that's who you have to look out for when you look at someone and you're like oh that's a narcissist it's probably just a selfish person people use narcissists too much it's probably just a selfish asshole seriously just selfish right when you're really looking into psychopathy and you're really looking into socios you have no idea what's coming and that's why when it hits you, it's like a fucking freight train. That's what you got to look out for. Pillars of the community every single time. Oh, no. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein, he was a philanthropist. He gave up so much money. Oh, no, no, no. Bill Gates, he loves us. He does so much for the community. <laughs> yeah, no, narcissists, look. I know some real ones, and no one else knows but me. They are fucking geniuses. A real narcissist. He's got the whole world in his hands. Donald Trump is probably just a selfish asshole. A real narcissist comes in like Barack Obama, making you think that he loves you and cares. That's the real narcissist. You got your selfish assholes and they're everywhere. But the real narcissists, you don't know. And if you find out, they will smear you and bury you to everyone you know and love. And no one will fucking believe you. No one. Let's not play. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this nighttime cream. I love when it's brand new. Behold. Right? And I'm going to mix it with this line eraser with retinol. Now, right now, if you haven't noticed, I got a little, a little burn 
right around my mouth from using a wee bit too much uh, retinol. However, <laughs> I'm going to still apply it everywhere else because that's how I roll. So, let's mix these up. All right. Little mixerino. So this is my a new ultimate day cream mixed with the retinol serum. I'm going to really concentrate it all right here. There you go. It is 1% and you have to be careful. Anyone here that has used this and I have worn them, hey, <laughs> don't overuse this shit. They will tell you, Adri is correct. I burnt the shit out of my face. Oopsie daisy. I look at it this way. I don't mind peeling here and there. You know what I mean? Because that's the turnover of your skin cells. So I'm fine with it. Some people don't like the hardcore peeling. So you have to use it lightly until. Meaning start once or twice a week and build up to it. Otherwise you're going to be very unhappy. <laughs> you got that flaky ass skin everywhere. Starter kits. Um, I just saw one that I think you would like. Let me see here. There it is. Take a peep in here. I think you'll like all of this. Yes, I do. Boop. All right, here's all our value sets. Um, I mean, the Pharmax, the Rice Ceramide Kit is fantastic. There's a lot of fantastic kits here. Some of them are super cheap, too, if you'd like to. But there you go. There's some starter kits for y'all. Okay. Oh, I feel so moisturized. Maybe just a little bit on the backs of my hands. A little bit more of the retinol. <laughs> you know how you get them old hands? Well, I'm getting uh, spots. There's one on my hands. So I've been treating them with retinol because who says I can't? Was it you? Did you say I can't? No, didn't think so. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh. <laughs> I do whatever I want. <laughs> That's like my MO in life. I love it. Fuck you. I won't do what they tell me. Okay. So last but not least, our um, ultimate eye care system. This you use in the daytime only, but at night you also add this serum on top. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to take a little bit of the retinol. Boop. There we go. I'm going to mix it in there. Because ain't nobody said I can't. <laughs> so when people are like, hey, your skin's great. And I'm just sitting over here like, I put retinol and alpha hydroxy all over my body every day. I do. I do. Well, hello, Michigan. Don't you misgender me. You'll be committing a felony. But all those gangbangers are fine, just so you know, in Detroit. They're fine. Selling drugs, slinging fucking crack and meth and fentanyl. That's totally fine. But don't you mispronoun someone. Love Michigan. Yep. So, warning, you might get a little retinol in your eye which I just did, but I'm taking it like a motherfucking man. <laughs> and my eye, my eyes are burning like Ralph Wiggum. Montana's hot as hell. Montana's so different. So Kalispell, when we moved out here, was 21,000 people. 
and in four years it went from 21,000 people to over 250,000 people. The roads can't handle it. The stores can't handle it. I can't handle it. I moved out here because the population of the town that I'm living in hadn't changed in a hundred years. And everyone's like, oh my god, totally. I want to bring woke stuff and then like the gender stuff. And oh my god, my pronouns are meep, mop, beep, bop. And all these people came in from L.A. with all their fucking issues and problems. And I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck. I don't ever want to go back to Kalispell. I don't leave here anymore. I stay in my tiny little town and I just avoid, I avoid that city like the fucking plague because it's like city people. Now here, I, let me, I'll just say this. I used to be one. You're very socialist and you have to be because you need other people to do all the hard work for you to enjoy your life. Now you can be like, my office job is hard. Being in Hollywood is hard. Going like this at the computer. Oh my God, I'm contributing. Maybe. But are you growing food? Are you plumbing people's pipes? Are you wiring electricity? Are you laying asphalt? Are you doing anything that's really even remotely beneficial to society as a whole? Now, nurses and doctors might be able to argue against that, and that I understand. That's why if shit ever hit the fan, no offense, but I do believe that 99% of people in cities will die. And it is because they rely on everyone else to do everything for them. They live a very posh existence. I'll call DoorDash. Here comes the trash man. The mailman comes to my door. Oh, my God. I could just call it in. Just call, And I get it. It's nice. But you forget what it's like to actually work for yourself. And then um, you start to think you should dictate to everyone in the country how they should do things when they're the ones doing all the fucking hard work to provide you the life that you have. But you're so sucked into the city, you don't understand that the things you're voting for and the things you pass only benefit you. Well, you look down your nose at all these hard-working farmers and factory workers and semi-truck drivers, these people that really contribute to society and keep the wheel turning. You just want to, like, dance on top of the wheel and be like, I'll take your shit, give me free stuff, pay for college debt, off the plumber's fucking paycheck, yeah, I'm really spoiled, want the free shit, Joe Biden says, no, I get it. That must be awesome. You went to college and you want other poor people to pay for it. That's cool. But you also made that decision. I know that sucks. <laughs> but I understand both sides. There's rural people that are like, shut the fuck up and get out of my life. And then there's city people that are like, dude, I need to tell you what to do because you provide everything for me. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Get driving those trucks and bring me my new Amazon deliveries, you bastards. Because I got shit I got to do in New York City. And I only do it because of all the work that you people in Kansas are doing that I shit on every day and look down my nose at. And that is the way of the world, is it not? Oh my God, wildlife, eating garden veggies. So yesterday we went huckleberry picking. Now huckleberries are very expensive if you buy them. Because you have to compete with fucking bears, grizzly bears, nonetheless, to get the huckleberries. First, you have to go high up altitude, up on the side of the mountain. And then, I totally suggest you go with someone. We bring our dog and we pick together. You have to keep very aware that you are not the only one that's enjoying and reaping the benefits of these amazing huckleberries. And when the huckleberries come out, so do the service berries and the raspberries. So then it's like bear apocalypse, right? Because they're like, we need to get fat and all this shit before the winter. And these fish taste good, but you know what tastes good on top of fish? <laughs> Huckleberries. Anyway, so we pick a whole bunch and we come home. And I had already made spaghetti and meatballs, homemade uh, artisan rosemary bread, and blueberry cinnamon rolls the night before. 
but I'm like, I have fresh huckleberries. Oh, thanks, Sandy. I'm glowing because I just put 50 fat pounds of fucking skincare on my face. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I'm like, babe, I got to make a, a huckleberry buckle. I have to make a fucking coffee crumb cake with these huckleberries. I have to do it. So then I do it. And I'm like, well, we might as well just eat a shitty dinner, too, since we're going to have the huckleberry crumble. So then I spend, like, four hours in the kitchen, and I make probably the best pizzas I've ever made. And the sausage I used was hot Italian sausage, and I really liked it. I liked the kick on it. So I did pepperoni and sausage, and then we ate the crumb cake. And then today I woke up, and I was like, <laughs> I don't want to eat like shit until my birthday. Like I am kind of done right now. And I looked at my husband and I'm like, man, I will never make fun of someone for being fat because I get it. I understand. It's so easy to eat. It's delicious. It's awesome. It makes you feel good while you do it. You never feel good after, but holy fucking hell. When that shit goes down, you're, what do you call it? Gizzard? The gizzard, gullet, <laughs> mullet, I don't know. When it goes down the hatch, it's so fucking good. It is. Did we have fun tonight, kids? Doing a little skincare before I went to bed. Let's just reiterate what I use. The new Clinical Revitalize and Re Reveal AHA Resurfacing Body Lotion. Because... Why shouldn't you treat the wrinkles and discolorations on your body, too? Alpha hydroxy is your friend. I need to start putting this on my feet. I feel like my toes look my age. Everyone's like, your face still looks great. I'm like, don't look at my feet, bitch. Because <laughs> my friend was like, your hands look good. Like, the skin, I'm like, don't look at my toes. <laughs> when my oldest friend was like, your toes are all wrinkly and haggard. I'm like, see can always find it somewhere. Some people, they like, look at her neck or look at her hands. With me, it's my fucking big, ugly feet and my toes as long as fingers. And they're all wrinkly. They look ancient. Jesus. So I got that. I used the rice ceramide moisturizing uh, toner and emulsion. So I got ooey and dewy. Then I used the new Ultimate Night Repair Serum. Uh, for PM usage only, and it visibly reduces the multiple signs of aging. I followed that up with a mixture of her new clinical line eraser with retinol, 1% retinol. This is heavy. You need to be careful. If you overuse this, your skin will flake, and it will flake quickly. Okay? So be careful. So I mix that with the new Ultimate Night Cream. Let me open this up. To use, smooth over cleanse face in PM. If tingling occurs, wait 15 minutes after cleansing or use sparingly. Oh, well, I used a buttload. I don't care if it tingles. I just love the way it looks when it's brand new. I just want to swim in it. It's so ooey and gooey. It's like a cinnamon roll, but for my face. So then I mixed the retinol in it, and I used it all over my face and my neck. I also put it on the backs of my hands. So if people are like, your hands actually look pretty good compared to your feet, I'm like, probably because I use anti-aging treatments on them. Tingling means you're doing it wrong. Right. My skin feels like burning. Uh, and I use the new Ultimate Multi-Performance Eye System. And I did. Now do as I say, not as I do. You're not supposed to use this retinol in your eye cream. You're not supposed to. However, I probably mix about that amount into my eye cream. I'll just put that on the backs of my hands for right now. And then I pat around and I try to avoid the actual eyeball, except for today I didn't, and I got a little watery eye <laughs> on stream, but that's okay. Do not do what I'm doing. I don't suggest it. I do it all the time. You shouldn't do it, but I do it because I mean, I do what I want. And then I use the serum over all of it. And that is my nighttime skincare. Hi, Donna. You got here right when I'm about to leave. Oh, you like this shade of blue? See, I'm not a blue wearing person. 
I just wore this because it's really hot out and it's super um, flowy, airy, airy if you will. Sarah, you'll love it. Uh, the only thing that works on old feet is sandpaper. Pit. No, 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 no. You're not getting it. You're thinking, I mean, like, callus. I don't want to show my feet on here because there's gross feet dudes online, and they'll screenshot it and put it on gross feet websites for gross feet perverts do gross perverted stuff while looking at your feet. So I'm not going to show you. But let's pretend this is my toes, right? It's like right here on my toe. <laughs> is all crinkly and wrinkly, right? Crinkly and wrinkly. Oh, if you want to message me, just go to my Linktree link here on Facebook in the About Me section. Go to my Avon store, and then it'll say Adrian's Avon store at the top. You click it, and it has my email for you to message me. Tina, thank you for the 250 stars. I appreciate it. What is a premium award and why did you get it? You can send stars with a virtual gift to express yourself and support creators. Aw, I hope you feel you have been expressed and supported. Yeah, my skin does look good right now. Ooh, you know what my favorite part is about, um, I lined the insides of my eyes today. So there's still a little bit of eyeliner left. So I get to look sexy. For my husband, even though I got my ooey gooey on my face. You have eyebrow envy? You wouldn't have mustache envy. <laughs> the other day I was looking at it, I'm like, this is serious. And then I'm like, you know, not anymore. Hey, let's just do it again. Uh huh. It's not beneath me to shave my mustache for everyone to see. You guys watching? getting some tips here I had so much laser hair removal and it only works to a point I'm I might be American but my genetics are Italian and Middle Eastern as fuck hairy ass bitch hairy I might as well be Greek for my fellow women when it comes to hair, <laughs> Lebanese, Iranian, Greek, Italian, all rock and mama. Thank you for the 250 stars. I did laser hair removal on my whole body, probably more times than anyone could afford because it was part of the reason that I didn't fight my ex-husband in court. I'm like, I just want you out of my life and you think well, you know, you're screwing me over. So you're afraid I'm going to come after you. Just give me the free laser hair removal and you're never going to hear from me again. He's like, are you fucking for real? I'm like, that is how much I hate you. And I just want you to go away forever. <laughs> take it all. Take the house. Take the Viking range. Take the Sub-Zero fridge. Take every single bit of it and shove it directly in your fucking pee hole. But get rid of my mustache and we'll be even. <laughs> but it grows back when you're as hairy as me. So all the hairy bitches that get me and all the black chicks, they understand my feet. You know how I know? There's a tiny little section with size 11 feet. And I'm sorry, black girls. You're the only bitches I fight for shoes. <laughs> okay, there's three pairs of fucking cute shoes and there's four of us here. Shit. <laughs> I'm always the one white chick. I'm sorry, but they're my sisters and big feet. Yay, Crystal. I'm I'm going to leave, though. I just did my little nighttime routine. I'm going to leave, but I will be here tomorrow morning. Probably at like 6, 10 a.m. I'll hang out for five more minutes for those of you who just came. 6'1", redhead. She wears an 11 and a half. Yeah, but she's taller than me. Kristen Timmons, thank you for the 300 stars. Size 9, they still make your size. Let me explain something. Up to size 10, you can find shoes. Size 10, I will give you girls this. Because when I was size 10 for a little bit, you have a little bit less of a selection, right? 
anything above 10, there's like no fucking selection. Have you been to a store? You walk down the aisles with the sizes? There's like a no selection above 10. There's like three pairs of ugly shoes. I had an old friend who came with me. It was like shoe carnival. She had six pairs of shoes. She was so excited. Oh, yay, Maine. My husband loves Maine. Um, she was so excited. And she comes with me to find my shoes. And she's like, this is all they carry? I'm like, this is a huge selection compared to other stores. And she was just in awe. She's like, there's like six pairs of shoes here. And I wouldn't wear any of them. So I picked the least ugly of all the shoes. And she's like, do you even like those? I was like, beggars can't be choosers. She was on her period. So this bitch starts crying. I think it's so unfair that I get to have any shoe I want. And you just have to wear these ugly shoes. I'm like, dude, <laughs> thank you for feeling my plight. Are you on your period? That is not the point. Yes. But it's just so unfair for you. I'm like, this fucking chick. Fucking crying her eyes out. Oh, yes, I'm a vacuum line person. I like to do patterns and shit. My house in Prescott really showed them, though, because it was a very plush carpet. And um, it was a little darker. This is more of a beige, so those vacuum lines don't pop out as much. Yeah, it is really funny. I was like, bitch, why are you crying, making a scene? She felt guilty that we had spent hours in the store and she got all the things she wanted and that I just, you know, had to pick the least ugly shoe. So when we got home, she's still all emotional. And at the time I was smoking weed. So I'm like, let me smoke some weed with you and you'll like relax. It'll be fine. <laughs> You're going to be okay. She looks at my shoe closet and she's like, I recognize some of these from like over a decade ago when we were kids. I'm like, yeah, I hang on to the good ones because you never know. She's like, this is just so horrible. I'm like, well, I take them to shoe guys and they like redo the outside. And she's like, you have to repair all your, I'm like, yeah, if I like them because so when everyone's like, everyone's trans, every child is trans, every single human being on earth is trans. I'm over here like, yay, yay, more shoes for me, and yay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't give a fuck what y'all do in your lives, right? But you guys are delivering me more shoes. So I'm going to go ahead and be selfish in this moment and be like, oh yeah, this is terrible. But not for me. <laughs> Just gonna throw it out there. No, yes, now it's discrimination to not have bigger shoes. Oh, yeah, girlfriend. Fist bump with you on that one. Let's go. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, this is totally unnatural for this many people. Sure, keep saying it. <laughs> I don't give a shit. What size are you? You're 11? Oh, totally, totally. That is a girl. That is a woman. Don't you dare get her shoes like eight pairs. <laughs> Stop. Nice seeing you. <laughs> I'm such a dick. And I tell my friends that and they laugh and they're like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, I know, I know. You got to like, you know, find, find the laughs in life. And for me, it's, I will get more shoes now. So let everyone be confused about who they are. Keep on keeping on. Because I noticed the fluctuation of more shoes. I'm 5'11". I'm 5'11". You know what? Maybe just a little more of this retinol on my chest right here. Just a little more. <laughs> right? Crazy situation, but it's good for me. <laughs> I was happy when RuPaul's Drag Race got big. I'm like, now maybe everyone will be a drag queen. I had no idea that it was going to be way more extreme than that. But it's like even more shoes are happening for me now. Guys, this is the biggest selection I've ever had. <laughs> so the more the world goes crazy, 
the more I get shoes. It's a good thing. Did you tan? Fuck no. This is me everywhere I go. It's like SPF 30 to 100 on my face with a hat like this. At the grocery store, I forgot my hat, and the girl was like, you have eyes. I'm like, yeah. She's like, wow, man, I'm just so used to you always in a hat. I'm like, God, keep the sun off my face. I did just take a shower, so I'm totally flushed with color because it's hot outside, and I totally, you know, sat in there burning, burning in the shower. Sometimes you just have to steam yourself out. You're four foot ten. Oh, dude. Not anymore. Like I said, I'm not going to lie. Full disclosure. With everyone being so confused on who they are, there is way more shoes. So I, guys, my eyes are popping because there's still a little eyeliner there. Do you see it? Mm-hmm. And it's all red around here. Because I use this retinol, which you should not do, but I do all the time. I do it all the time. But you should not do it because it says you to avoid eyes. But I do it every single day. <laughs> and I accidentally got it into my eyes. So then it turned even redder around them. Oops. Well, guys, like, I, I live in the mountains and I'm not tanning, but I did burn myself. Right there. And it's a blister. It's right there. On the elliptical. Yay! You want to shine like me? Well, then just drench. Drench your skin in um, skincare. So it's so thick. Because I'm going to go to bed in this. So I need it super thick on my skin. Because the thicker it is, the more it's just going to, like, you know suck in prescription strength there you go Andrea no judgment don't do what Andrea is doing you're not supposed to every day hats I have huge brimmed massive sun hats they're massive they look like Kentucky Derby hats and people look at no lasers does not work on light hair I had black Thick man stubble. <laughs> right? Right? Man stubble. So, what grows back now is just little wisps of once what was once what was. There you go. So, um, I would say 10% of the hair that I used to get grows back everywhere. And I'm like, that's so hairy. But I have to remember, my nickname in school was Adrian Furry because I was... It was very hairy. Guys, I would like to thank, let me bring them up, Kristen Timmons, Rockin' Mama Pierce, Tanya Janowski, Tina Cozzolino. Cozzolino? Is that how I say your name? I always love your hair, though. Sarah Giles, Stephanie Thompson Forbes, and Marianne Ball. Ladies, thanks for the stars. It's like super, super sweet of you. Um, yeah, Adrian Ann Furry and Chewbacca, Sasquatch, Aircraft Carrier, and fucking Clown Shoes. <laughs> Those were my nicknames. But now you know one of the rotations of my skincare late at night. Uh, tried and true, I really do love this a new Ultimate Night Cream. It's just thick. And like I said, if you have skin discolorations from the sun, and you can see mine right here. When I was young, I was dumb, I went in the sun, it was no good. Well, I love you and you're awesome. Have you considered that? Have you considered that? All right, I'm going to go say hi to my husband. Um, I will be on early tomorrow morning. He will not be streaming because we have some shit we have to do. Um, I plucked my eyebrows too, remember, on Top Model? But I had to pluck every day for like 30 minutes. And then one day my husband was like, wow, dude. Like, you spend a lot of time like this. 
This is my life. Oh, hey. A little de pluck. So now people are like, they're so mad at my eyebrows because they're like, they're too big. Nah. This is the way I look at it. I'm not getting that time back that I've wasted already plucking my eyebrows. But now I just do a little maintenance and I don't have to keep adding time that I've wasted in my fucking life before I die. Plucking hairs out of my face. <laughs> it was so time consuming. Like, I'm good. Like, this is me. If you don't like it, that's cool. It's cool. You ain't gotta like it. We're fine. You don't have to rock them. They're my business. Ladies and gentlemen, have a fantastic Sunday, and I will see some of you guys tomorrow morning. Bye, guys.